Hey YouTube family, we're back with another one. In this episode of Stick Shift Stories, we're going to show you how to paint your brake calipers in six easy steps. So come along as we show the process to you. And if you like this video, please smash that like button and give me a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get started. We're going to be spray painting these calipers today. They're off of a 2006 Toyota Tundra with the TRD off-road package. These are remanufactured calipers, so they don't look exactly the same. However, they're both 13 WL calipers. What we're going to use is BHT products that are designed for high heat applications. First is their flame proof primer, followed by their caliper paint and clear coat that are both rated for high temperature use. The first step in the process involves sanding the surface of the caliper. Make no mistake, this is a critical step. Sanding helps cultivate a surface that the primer can adhere to easily. And as with any paint job, the prep is the most important aspect that will determine your final product. So take your time here and do a good job. I removed the brake pad hardware just to be able to give me a little bit more room to do a good job with my sanding. I'm using 1200 grit sandpaper here because these are remanufactured calipers and they weren't extremely rusty, dirty, or old. However, if you have calipers on your car and they're older or rusty, you might have to use a more aggressive type of sandpaper, something like a 300 or 350 grit. The method of sanding that I'm using here is called a crosshatch pattern. Essentially, it means that I'm sanding in opposite directions or by using an X pattern. This just helps ensure the surface layer of the caliper is prepped and ready for the next step. Here is one of the calipers after I've completed this crosshatch sanding on it. After sanding, use a brake clean product to remove dust or debris from the surface of the caliper. To ensure paint doesn't go anywhere we don't want it or there's no overspray, taping up your calipers is the next step. I like to use blue scotch tape as I find that it does a fine job in this scenario. Apply this tape to any area that you don't want exposed to paint, primer, or clear coat. Things like the brake bleed nipple and the cylinders for the pistons inside of the caliper. Once complete, you'll want to do another cleanup of the surface. This time I'm using a cleanup rag along with a tack cloth to ensure that there's no residual dust or debris left on the caliper before the next step. Step number three, apply the primer. We're gonna use the VHT product and apply two or three light coats of primer to the surface of the caliper. Note that you don't wanna apply the primer if it's too cold or too hot and humid outside. The temperature range will be listed on the can but generally it should be between 70 to 80 degrees and not extremely humid. And now the fun begins, it's time for paint. We're gonna utilize the VHT product. Here we're using their gold color spray can. And again, the trick here is to use light coats. You'll wanna apply two or three light coats to the entire surface of the caliper, ensuring that you have good coverage all the way around. Again, you don't wanna be heavy handed here because it can cause streaks or drips to appear in the finish of your caliper. Coming up, you'll see the other caliper get its coat of primer as well as its coat of paint. You'll want to wait between 15 to 20 minutes for each coat of paint 
and then allow one hour for the caliper to dry and you should have something like this. It almost feels like these gold calipers are growing on trees. Next we're going to apply a TRD logo to the caliper just to kind of give it a twist and make sure that we have something that is unique and special. So all I'm doing here is I'm lining up the stencil correctly. As you can see it was being a little bit stubborn but we made sure we got it in the end. And it just ties in the look really nicely with this gold and red combo and I think it's going to look really special once we move on to the next step and complete it. We're getting close. Step five is the clear coat. So with the clear coat it's basically the same procedure as the primer and paint. You'll want two to three coats of clear. You don't want to be heavy handed and you want to wait 15 to 20 minutes between each coat. This clear is high temperature rated for up to about 900 degrees and it'll just give our calipers that nice deep luster and shine that we're after. And here you have both of the calipers after they've been cleared and they're hanging to dry. I must admit I was a little bit weary about using this gold paint on the calipers but seeing this final result here has got me really excited. The paint color looks superb. It's got a nice luster to it and this gold color just kind of pops with this red logo. So drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this color combination. Look at the incredible difference some paint has made to the appearance of this caliper. The caliper that's been painted just looks more expensive, more premium, and simply has that stunning look that makes it super desirable. We've made it, we're at step number six, removing the tape from the caliper. In this step, we're simply using whatever tools we have available to us that will help remove the tape without damaging any of the paint around the perimeter of the caliper. A lot of times, if you have a piece of tape that's being stubborn, you can use a X-Acto knife to cut around it to make sure that it peels off easy. But for the most part, this step is oddly satisfying and it really starts to bring the final product to life and gets you excited to mount your calipers on your vehicle. I'm giving you a little under two minutes of me removing the tape along with some ASMR action thrown in there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every one of my subscribers and viewers. If you like this video, smash that like button. I'm really glad that I tried this out. This gold color is stunning in my opinion, and I'm just ready to put these calipers on the truck. They're all wrapped up and ready to go. 
By the way, let me know if you want to see the installation video. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you for the next video.